And guess what? We are troubled by something. What's going on? We do have the Two of Swords. Thank God is in reverse. So we are making a decision about some burdens ha kind of happening to us. I, I call them happening for us, right? But at times it might feel that, um, you know, everything is against us. And Ten of Wands is like you doing all the work. And maybe Gemini, we are actually making a decision or you are guided through this reading to make a decision about the burdens and the level of responsibility that uh, we can accept. It's acceptable. We can do it. We can accomplish it. Maybe you are doing all the work here while the other person is waiting. Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, right? For some of you, this is the energy of, um, of waiting, um, right? Uh, the, the burden actually is the waiting period. We know ships are coming. That's the beauty of the Three of Wands. And we know communication will be reestablished. We're going to uh, be together again. Five of Pentacles, right? In reverse. That was a silent treatment, ghosting, rejection. But we know, um, you know, things will change and life will change. So... And the Knight of Cups might be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio we are dealing with and burdened by and feeling all kinds of energies, conflicted energies. And the Three of Swords, of course we are hurt. Of course we are hurt over here. And we are trying to make sense out of it, right? Why is this happening to me? God, why me? Right? I'm just saying. We all went there. Why me? Um, King of Swords, oh my god, this is so your energy. We do have King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, of course, can be another, fi oh, another fire sign. Why do I say fire? Um, air sign. But I'm sensing this is you. This is you, like your royal self, saying, you know what? I am going to celebrate my royalty over here, and I am going to do nothing. Not that the royalties are doing nothing, by the way, or the royal family, for that matter, but just saying, you know? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It might be a Pisces involved, right? We had the Knight of Cups. Now we do have the uh, the Moon in reverse. And for some of you, and the Page of Wands in reverse, honestly, for some of you, some might be guide us, but that's a very clear message here. We're going to lay back a little bit, um, enjoy our time doing anything else but communicating. We do have the Page of Wands here. And we know pages are about communication. We have them in reverse, you know? So we are not putting effort in this passion that we have for this person. The moon, we might be out of the woods um, soon. Um, can be a Pisces, we are no longer putting an effort. That's all right, it happens, you know. We make decisions in life and sometimes we, this is one of uh, them, right? And, um, and we are having our clarity a little bit and because of it, right? The moon in reverse is coming out of a very dark period. Um, we are overcoming this, having more clarity, more information, and the decision we come out of this dark time is like, hell yeah, I'm not going to communicate with anybody. I'm going to communicate with myself, right? Kind of energy. And not putting the effort, you know, in, in some way. So, I'm just saying. It's all here. It's a very clear message. Somebody really needed to hear this today, um, Gemini. It's so clear, crystal clear. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let us have the current energies at this time. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. And again, time is fluid. You know how it goes, right? And you always have free will, and you always have to use your better judgment. Bottom of the deck, the tower, but... We are all going through the tower moment. You are not alone. We all have the rainbow on our window saying better times, better days are coming. For now, we are staying put a little bit because the world is on fire. And then we have you, right? The lovers. You waiting for the tower moment to pass. Good. Good. Perfect. Oh my God. I love this energy, Gemini. Uh, all through the shuffling, right? We had the Ten of Wands and it's, um, it is an ending, so it's good. But my God, it's a high um, um, intensity kind of work, right? So this connection of yours might have uh, required from you a lot of effort. 
and uh, being smart and making decisions and taking responsibility and um, also the passion inside of you because ones are all about sensuality and passion right and and then we got the the five of pentacles all rejected all in the dark all and now it's like okay the world went boom how about we look at our priorities a little bit how about and it um we are at crossroads we all are right but I'm sensing an opportunity here to make a choice. Here is choosing yourself. You know, you know that, right? We ha we do have the lovers with the two of wands, and we know it's about choices. So you choosing yourself through the tower moment here. This is such a clear message for somebody. We'll see how this goes. But uh, the overall energy is like, baby, you do not waste a minute. You know. So let's see. Um, so in the past, Gemini, absolutely, right? We do have the full and we do have the Hierophant in reverse. This is falling out of a commitment of a marriage. We thought it was serious. We thought we're going to have something that's solid. Uh, the Hierophant is the whole traditional kind of family that we wanted. And then the universe pointed out, you know, somebody, the universe, um, your guides, whoever accompanies you in this life said, you have to jump, baby. That's the full, right? Jumping. Um, it feels like jumping out of a train, but, um, you know, it, uh, we, we had to start new. We had to start from scratch. That, that's a fool. And, um, it feels like jumping from a train because we do have the fool with the tower, right? And it's jumping at the last minute because the world went, went boom behind you after a few seconds. So probably abrupt ending here I'm picking up and um there was still passion in it and there was still love and in your mind with the eight of pentacles here showing up as the overall energy i'm sure you are in that mind frame that if we really put the effort in we can save this but baby i know you know some things cannot be saved and might have been this one because the universe after probably some red flags said do the hell with it let's boom this um this one out you know this is how it feels like. <clears throat> now this person of yours, when they saw the magnitude of the boom, right? They feel now they, they, felt, they felt the five of cups. It's like shit. That was a big, <laughs> I was not planning that big boom and it was bigger than they planned in some way. Because we do have the king of pentacles, right? And um, the energy of a king is uh, the energy of action. So they knew exactly what they were doing. But then maybe the boom caught them by surprise in some way or it was too harsh and um, they came to um, like what they are pulling from the past. This is the energy of the five of cups. It's like zoot, you know. Um, can be the energy of missing. Of course, can be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. You have Taurus energy twice. But honestly, I'm sensing more of somebody like clear headed. Um, King of Pentacles, I mean, he's very... Uh, meticulous because he wants to have advantages and money and abundance and he's planning ahead right and he has a good set of uh, brains so it was quite um, I would say and I'm sorry to break this uh, to you I'm sure you knew but it's kind of like the university day really delivering a blunt <laughs> kind of you know uh, messages saying well let's not put the effort into a boom that was um, you know meant for your higher good and this person oh hell yeah right and speaking of planning isn't it interesting how the universe works right because we were talking about planning and really thinking ahead and having advantages and boom the emperor shows up of course can be an aries between you and this person but this is the death scorpio energy with the emperor if this is not a planned ending really well thought and really well planned i wonder what this is you know and uh, a lot of mature energy probably i'm picking up the energy of somebody who um had a strong commitment went through life a couple of um decades you know <clears throat> 10 years 12 years um 13 kind of and we say well guess what about time and um I don't know if they took all the precautions or it does look like a lot of um, smarts and wits and thinking of stability and money and it feels like Gemini like you were the one really starting like a kid new in life having nothing 
but a job that you'll start on Monday, you know, <laughs> kind of energy. So, um, well, too bad for them, right? I mean, it's, um, somebody was smart while the other person was um, uh, blindly into this connection and working like crazy and nurturing and giving to this connection, right? So Gemini, where are we right now? We do have the Three of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Wands. We might be defensive a little bit. We are healing. We are fighting. Um, I, I don't think you fight for this connection. We'll see. But it's more the energy of fighting for your healing, your space, your this is me time. Um, Seven of Wands is please leave me alone like a notice on a door. Do not disturb. I'm healing kind of energy. Do not talk to me. For some of you, that's the energy of I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like being polite. I feel like saying no just because it sounds good, you know, kind of energy. And that's good because the overall energy is one of let's sit for a, for a while, you know, let's sit down for a while and wait for this to pass. Now, uh, this person of yours, Gemini, they might have felt a little bit responsible for a while, guilty having remorse it was too harsh um it was undeserved right that's the five of cups it's like oh you know um with them stepping back they might have realized something then they've been burdened for a while with the ten of wands and now they have the two of pentacles um, in reverse kind of energy let me drop this because it's hot and now uh, it burns me you know so they are also looking for peace of mind um feeling less burdened by what happened, ending a cycle. Ten of Wands is also, that is no 11, right? So somebody here turned the last page of uh, whatever cycle they were going through and with the Two of Pentacles, it's like, okay, okay, I'm done, 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 you know? And um, it's interesting because the Two of Pentacles is the energy of juggling, right? Usually upright is successfully juggling, responsibilities being present, doing the work, keeping everything up and running. So it might be, um, you know, right now they might feel like, you know, they've put some work into it, you know. And because Ten of Wands and Two of Pentacles, both very um, energetic um, um, cards in upright position. In reverse, they might feel like, okay, I'm going to have to let go because I also put a lot of work into this, you know. Uh, Two of Pentacles might be the energy where this soulmate of yours, this person might think it was because of me that this worked for a certain amount of time. And at some point it was only me doing the work. Well, actually, you put a lot of work too, right? But all that to say that maybe communication was not good and exchanges of some sort and um, sharing the burdens of, of a commitment or whatever got you so burdened. Um, and... Um, and mutual energies between the two of you, we are fighting. Why not? You know? We have unsolved issues. We have five of wands. Honestly, I'm sensing, I don't think uh, five of wands is uh, mainly internal conflict. It's um, not knowing, really, right? R looking at the situation and not really thinking that this is over. Not really realizing. Probably it is not over. The way it ended, it ended with a boom. So we still have some conversations to have. Uh, that is something that needs um, to be said, you know, we need to get the energy back into the flow, the communication back into the flow. We still have something on our heart. They have two. Um, and um, this is the energy between the two of you, right? And the King of Swords in reverse might be distant. This is, of course, your energy. Um, but honestly, you know how it feels? It feels like the unfairness of it is killing me right that's a five of wands with a king of swords in reverse king of swords we we talked about right many many times swords in reverse means verbal abuse um somebody being angry um usually swords in reverse they hurt they touch people they scratch right and uh, of course unfair and unjust because the king of swords is um like the um a symbol of what's fair, what's just, even if it's blunt, fair communication, but this is, and it's also the men in the uniform. So a lawyer, judge, somebody there to uphold the law and what's fair and what's just and what's balanced and what's permitted. So, so I believe both of you are conflicted and thinking of, gosh, it was unfair. 
gosh, is one, it was unjust and undeserved in some way, right? And that's the energy, the unfairness between the two of you is actually on their mind and on your mind too. This is what I'm picking up here. And moving forward, we do have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy and the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is focusing on work. This is focusing on what brings you abundance, a teamwork. For some of you, um, if you are willing to have this non-traditional connection or um, for some of you, this is the combination of, yeah, the marriage will be over, but we will still be collaborating. We will still be a team for the children if you have. Uh, I'm not seeing it, but it can be for some of you. Page of Wands might be um, a child somewhere. Um, so for some of you, this is the energy coming your way. It's like, we're gonna, we're gonna pursue this. Uh, we cannot repair this. That's a hierophant in reverse. But then the three of pentacles is staying polite, uh, you know, working as a team, doing what has to be done, collaborating to, to, uh, uh finish this, whatever separation we are having. Hierophant in reverse is, and with the death, it's uh, the energy of a divorce, right? Um... And this person of yours, um, they are kind of um, in their uh, thoughts about this and they are expanding the energy coming their way is the energy of awakening and expanding their mind and trying to understand what's going on with this. Um, getting illuminated in, in some sort by observing you and um, maybe watching you from a distance. That's the energy of stalking, but it has a good purpose. It has a let me understand what I've missed, you know, in, in, in all this. Let me see all the angles of the situation and giving it quite a quite a thought, you know. And this combination of cards is like, it feels like, and what if, what if I've missed, I've missed something, you know. It's a genuine eight of swords. What if I was not paying attention? What if, what if I was way too much in my head and I've missed something? And now they want to discover what was the detail that was missed, right? And here comes the Emperor again. So between the two of you, we do have the Emperor. This is um, Aries energy. And we do have the Star in reverse. You are both lost in this situation. Uh, not having a plan, both of you. The Emperor in reverse is like, you know, uh, no, I don't understand. I, I, can't, I can't organize, I, I can't plan. I can't even write the uh, read or write or sign the paper because I, you know, the emperor in reverse, I'm not there. Um, usually it's a little bit of abuse of power. Maybe one is in a position of power, so rock solid with the king of pentacles energy while the other person is like, yeah, I'm sleeping on the floor. I have nothing, but I'm free. You know, this is how it feels a little bit. Um, you know, with the fall and the tower is like, we have nothing but freedom, you know? Um, and that's all right. We can build step by step. Um, Gemini, I hope you are not afraid of new beginnings and having nothing. Um, honestly, I do hope. Um, if not, there is always counseling and resources around you. You just have to find them. Um, but it's it's um, kind of like the energy here saying, yeah. You know, on their side, they seem to they seem to change to have changed their mind in in some way in some way and struggling a little bit with how it feels you know with the with the start in reverse right we it's uh the, it's really the energy of feeling lost it's the energy of not having the divine guidance not having the higher self not having the mind to see things um not having the inner strength to see because there is no guidance nor from within nor n nor from above so but again this is the energy between the two of you the dynamic between the two of you and um and the emperor in reverse how can we plan w when we don't understand a thing over here so gemini let's ask for some guidance baby and i know i'm already at 20 minutes and i said i am going to keep the readings at 20 minutes but this one is such a clear message for you so let's ask for some guidance let's see what we need to have we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive it says your parents but you know you have to forgive somebody and you do have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life i do believe in due time you'll have your love we do have unrequited love probably this one is not for you this is the universe pointing 
that actually this is not for you. Now let's um, see what energies we need to get back into the flow. Um, Gemini, and then we say goodbye. Oh, I'm sure you have resentment, but baby, they are blocking our energy and our higher self. So, And it says surrender resentment. Holding on to resentments only poison you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in life. Definitely the universe has a plan for you. And um, no, resentments doesn't help. Only block you. We do have death. Yeah, baby, this is over. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Right? So the universe sending you a sign. Yeah, it's over. We have death twice. We have the tower, which is kind of one in the same energy of um, disruption, disruption, and being um, over, totally over, and unable to come back. But hey, it is a new beginning. We do have pride. I love myself, and I see myself in everyone. So... Um, right? That is something about pride that we kind of need to. And um, the idea is I see myself in everyone. So that is a little bit of humility there that um, that is beautiful to have. And and no, no judgment, right? That's the energy I'm, um, I'm picking up. And we do have surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions, right, Gemini? You, you know, your beautiful mind knows. Your beautiful mind. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinion about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So your gut feeling is good. Do not resent this person. It's over. Do not judge and come from a place of kindness, bottom of the deck, right? You are a humanitarian made of love. And you are able to share that energy with others and you do have priorities because now it's the time we do have the emperor between the two of you in reverse and so he's not planning he's not prioritizing he's not seeing clear probably the energy between the two of you and the guidance is so in line with the energies coming your way and it is about priorities you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations so priorities and love baby so gemini this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best please stay safe for me and strong um as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care